as 2021 draws to a close, it's a good time to look back and to look forward. The end of the year marks the second anniversary of the COVID-19 pandemic, representing a poignant reminder of what we have achieved, have gained, and have lost as a global community in our collective response to a truly global crisis. 2021 has been a tough year, but there is also a lot to be grateful for. While no country is out of the woods from the pandemic, we have many new tools to prevent and treat COVID-19. More than 8.5 billion doses of vaccine have been administered globally, saving millions of lives. New treatments have been developed, which should dramatically increase access and lower mortality. But narrow nationalism, and vaccine hoarding by some countries have undermined equity and created the ideal conditions for the emergence of the Omicron variant. And the longer inequity continues, the higher the risks of the virus evolving in ways we can't prevent or predict. If we end inequity, we end the pandemic. In turn, we save lives we relieve the burden on stretched health systems and give respite to the legions of health workers who have toiled tirelessly and sacrificed so much for two years. Through the ACT Accelerator, which includes COVAX, WHO and our partners are helping to make vaccines, tests and treatments accessible to people who need them all over the world. As we enter the third year of this pandemic, I'm confident that this will be the year we end it, but only if we do it together.